Okay, I'm going to lay a heavy one on you now. I'm going to address the men in the room. I want the women to listen very carefully. I'm going to give the men a principle you might have on your belief window. I want the women to give me the need driving this principle. Here is the principle. Men are better than women. Do you know any men that have that principle on their belief window? Do you know any women that have that principle on their belief window? Yes. Ladies, which of the four needs would drive a principle like that? Survival? <laughs> Survival. All right, I need a married couple. Is this a married couple? Tell me your name. Yes. Brad? Conrad. Conrad and Jane. All right, let's pretend Conrad has that principle on his belief window. Men are better than women. Now that translates into lots of other principles like men are better managers than women. Men are better students than women. Of course we know that because women's brains are smaller than men's. There is no way they can compete. Do you know that was a prevalent belief in this country until 75 years ago? One of the first debates, Ben Franklin, my mentor, I named my company after him, one of the first debates he took on as a young man was, we should not educate women in this country, their brains are smaller than men's, and if we educate them, we'll fry their brains. <laughs> All right, Conrad has the principle on his belief window, men are better than women. If that's true, then he sets up his rules. And on a Saturday morning, Jane says, Conrad, I've got a lot of errands to run today. Would you mind vacuuming the house while I'm gone? <laughs> what behavior pattern will we see from Conrad? I don't do that. That's women's work. I don't do that. Have you got that? Now we've got to ask the question. Will the results of Conrad's behavior meet his needs over time? <laughs> Three marriages later. <laughs> Probably not. So what do we know about his belief window? He's got a bad principle on his belief window. Now Conrad discovers he has a bad principle on his... By the way, where do we get principles on our belief windows? Where do they come from? Well, they start when we're pretty small. If a little girl in our society acts like a little boy, what do we call her? Is that okay or not okay in our culture? Okay. It's okay. If a little boy acts like a little girl, what do we call him? That's the nicest thing we call him. <laughs> it's not okay. Ten-year-old boy comes into his garage Saturday morning, doing what kids do in a garage on Saturday morning, accidentally tips a box off the shelf, lands on his foot, smashes three toes, bleeds all over the floor, and he starts to cry. Dad comes into the garage. What does dad say to that little boy? Don't cry. Men don't cry. This hurts, man. I'd like to cry. <laughs> Why can't I cry, dad? Because men don't cry. You want an interesting experience? Go see a sad movie at a theater, stand at the door at the end, and watch the men walk out. They're all bleeding from the mouth. <laughs> Why? They mean chewing their gums, trying not to... It's not macho to cry. Only women cry. <laughs> do you know they've done a study? One day I'm going to find out who they are. They do some great studies. <laughs> They've done a study and discovered that tears expunged over an onion are very different chemically than tears expunged in anguish. We apparently get rid of some ugly toxins from our bodies when we cry. We don't allow men that privilege in our culture. <coughs> men don't cry. Okay, Conrad has a principle on his belief. <clears throat> Found out he's got a bad principle on his belief. How does Conrad know he has a bad principle on his belief window? Well, his attorney's fees are astronomical. Something <laughs> is not working. Now understand this fact. Before any of Conrad's behavior will change, 
What has to change first? The principle on the belief window has to change, ladies and gentlemen, or the behavior will never change. All right, Conrad discovers he's got a bad principle on his belief window. He has to find an alternative principle. You give me an alternative principle to men are better than women. Women are better than men. <laughs> okay, that's, that's an alternative principle, right? Let's pretend Jane has that principle on her belief window. Women are better than men. Is she going to ask Conrad to back in the house? Nope. Do it, idiot. Have it done before I get home. Have you got that? <laughs> now we've got to ask the question. Will the results of Jane's behavior meet her needs over time? Yes or no? Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why she's single, she said. We just found two bad principles. What principle will likely work? Men and women are equal. equal. Different. Wonderfully different. But equal. If Conrad gets that principle on his belief window, will it alter his behavior? Yes, it will. Now on a Saturday morning, Jane says, Conrad, I got a lot of errands to run today. Would you mind backing the house while I'm gone? What behavior pattern will we now see? Love to do it. <laughs> Where is it? How do you turn it on? <laughs> now we're going to have to send Conrad to vacuum cleaner school, but there's going to be a whole new set of behavior because he's functioning from a new principle on a belief window.